Sports Matters TV. Hello, Jerry. I'm in chat, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, all is good. All is good. There's, uh, there's no rain in Ireland today, which is good. So we're happy. We're happy. Uh, I expect the thunderstorms. Yeah, yeah. It's been crazy. But it's, it's um, as you say, when there's no rain, it's a really good place. It's just as good as Spain. <laughs> you have that rain, you know? Yeah, yeah. I've been there once and it, it, was, it was a good time. Yeah, yeah. No, it's nice. You've, you've got a big fan base here, which is good. So we, we watch out uh-huh. for the prospects. And, and Eddie Hearn's always on about you. So look. You have a big fan. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> but uh, how's things how you been? It's look, it's been a crazy 12, 13 months. It's been a crazy couple of weeks for you as well. Um, how's things? Uh, do you know what? I thought the start of my career, I thought, all right, I've had the bad patch out of the way. But throwing that in the span of two weeks ago, well, a week ago, really, was a bit of a shocker. Yeah. Like, like you know, I, I always wonder because, look, I know I'm lucky enough to know a lot of fighters and stuff. When you prepare for a fight and, and you know, it, it's, it doesn't happen, how does that affect you mentally? It must be really crazy given all the preparation, everything that goes into a fight. Yeah, definitely. It is, it's a bit of a, you know, a bummer. But, do you know, I'm a strong believer of everything happening for a reason. So, you know, it, it, it could have gone a lot worse than just a pullout. So, I've just kind of taken it in my stride and then using that prep that I've had as a head start. So I'm looking at it as a win-win for me. Definitely. Now, speaking of your first two fights, you were very impressive, making the headlines as we expected. Uh, how, how do you assess the first two fights? Obviously, you were happy with the way they went. Yeah, my first fight was very different from my second, but I felt like it, it was a change of an opponent. It was a step up in my second fight. So I think I showed different you know, aspects of my boxing, but I know there's a lot more I didn't show. So yeah, I've got a lot to do. Definitely, and it, it was it was great to get your pro debut because look, we, we we didn't know what was going to happen. We you know like fights, there was talks of no fights happening at all, and then obviously Eddie Eddie pulls the, the strings out of the bag. Um, how nervous were you for that pro debut? You looked you looked a million bucks, but did you, did you feel nervous leading up to that fight? You know what, Joe? I didn't have one bit of nerves, like not even a little bit. I think because it was a long time coming, and I was in a good place both mentally and physically. I was just excited, like so excited to get it started that. Everything went so smoothly. I didn't feel one bit of nerves. Epic. What was it like to sign for Matchroom Boxing? Because, look, we know Eddie, he's, he's definitely the biggest promoter worldwide. He's making, you know, waves across America. He's, he's dominating. He's the new Don King, but a really good work. <laughs> he's a nicer work. <laughs> and, and we could all sit down and watch Eddie talk for days because he really knows how to sell fights and, and do the uh... bit. So what, what was it like to sign for Matchroom? He's, he's a good salesman. Do you know what? Obviously, when you turn over, that's, that's the... The goal you all want, the matchroom little, you know, signing. So it was, I couldn't have wrote anything better myself. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing where the next, you know, 12 months take me. Definitely. Speaking of next fight, I think you're back out there early August, is it? Yeah, and he's backyard, backyard job. Yeah, it's some backyard. I wouldn't call it a backyard. I'd call out more Buckingham Palace over here. It's, it's uh, 100%. I've never seen so much green. It's going to be a shock to my system. It's unbelievable. But how, how's prep going for that fight? Yeah, like um, I had a good head start, like I say, with my last camp. So I just I was straight in the gym on the Monday. So yeah, it it was it was no times wasted. And I feel like um, this will be a camp of learning because obviously my weight's down and everything's really been ticked. Yeah, no, we have to agree. Like you, you were a million bucks first two fights, incredible. Obviously, a small little setback, but it puts you in good straight for this tour boat. Um, but we're obviously closer. Fingers crossed to getting you know the fans back, the crowds back. Obviously, that would mean a lot to you to have the, the, the big fans and, and the crowds there for you. Yeah, you know, they're saying there's going to be crowds at the, the next show, but I think they're like £750 a ticket, so there's no way anyone's coming from my end. <laughs> I think they're all chipping for a ticket and then have a punch-up to see who gets it. Not, so, not at all. They'll have the money ready for that, Eddie. Don't worry. They, they uh, know your, your <laughs> coming up. They're going to see it. My money's on my mum winning. <laughs> I love it. And speaking of, have, have they announced an opponent? Either? There's no opponent announced just yet. Is there for yourself? No opponent yet, but it, again, it'll be a step up from my last one. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We can't wait. Now, speaking of the amateur days, uh, your reputation as an amateur was, was awesome. You were, uh, you were mean in the ring. You, you didn't take any choice. You, you, you really bossed about. Um, how, how different is the amateur to the pro game? Obviously, look, we, we know boxing, you can't bluff it. It's a crude sport. It's a tough sport. It's a grueling yeah. sport. But how do you find the difference making that switch to the pro ranks? Do you know, I, I haven't found much of a change. I think, obviously, the two minutes of the three has been a big change because it's a sprint. 
and I've never been a, a good sprinter to be honest so I, I do prefer the three minutes and it's a lot of you know no head guard it was a big change but in terms of boxing and how I've boxed I probably hadn't changed too much because I was always quite aggressive and body shots and yeah I wasn't the tippy tappy which you know gets you really far in the amateur system and were you, were you quite in school or were you a bit of a messer? Because we all have that little mess streak in school, but were you quite or, or, or a big messer? I never used to sharpen the pencils. I was like the little, the loud one. But I do my work, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I'd always have an answer. Probably not the right one. <laughs> Speaking of uh, your fan base, obviously back home, obviously there's a lot of people behind you. It's um, like I actually grew up in Croydon, so people always get a fright. No right? way. Yeah, I lived in Croydon for six years. And um, it's, it's <laughs> obviously, I know you're a Palace fan too, aren't you? Yeah, 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 Eagles. Eagles. I hope you're one as well, being from Croydon. I was, but then I was, I was swear towards Liverpool. But I'm a big Palace oh, are you glory <laughs> yeah. Pal- Palace will be number two for me. But obviously, um, you know what I mean? Do, do you reckon Selhurst Park, you know, Ellie Scottley world title fight down the road could be something yeah. that would happen? That would be massive. Like, Boatsy, he's a massive Palace fan. So if I had to get on his undercard, even if it was on Facebook Live, I'd take that. Oh, we'll take it too. That'd be awesome. It's definitely a goal to work towards Ellie Scotty fight for a world title, Sellers Park. It'll be that'll be unbelievable. Got the headline there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now what, what kind of goals do you send out, Eddie? Obviously, look, we, we know you have um, you know a massive future ahead. You're very young. Um would you be looking at perhaps, you know, a world title shot maybe next year or the year after? Obviously, look, we have seen the female boxing in the UK is massive. Yeah. Uh, Katie Taylor's doing unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Like obviously that's something that you want down the road. Yeah, I think um I just got to take every fight as it comes and keep ticking those boxes for when I do get to world level and when they say I'm ready, I just got to make sure I'm fully prepared. So yeah, no, it's hundred percent what I'm looking for. And do you reckon there should be more domestic belts? You know, obviously with the men's boxing, there's oh, yeah. many, you know local domestic belts. Do you reckon it's only a matter of time before? You know, there might be a couple of more domestic belts available to, to you know, young boxers and, and pro boxers. Yeah, most definitely. You know, like, we, we're lacking the depth a little bit, but I feel like the Super Bantam division, you're getting a lot of, you know, Brits, and a, it's a domestic scene which is, can light up very quickly. So I feel like within a year, especially with the Olympic cycle passing through, it's going to open doors to add that into the women's game. Definitely. Like, you are definitely the ambassadors because, obviously, we, we know Eddie, obviously, signed Kelly Teller and he's, he's got yourself and a, and a couple of yeah. really good girls. Look, he has set the mark for the future stairs off today, you know, which is, which is incredible. Yeah, America, you know, there's a lot of hidden gems out there. So, once we start looking and seeing what's about it, over in the States, it's going to be massive. Definitely. Do you ever think about maybe switching over to MMA? You have that, you know, you have that impression. You have, I, I watch you punch. I, I reckon, you know what I mean? You know, when you win world titles in, in boxing, you might go off to MMA and, and kick the shit out of a couple of girls over there, you know? <laughs> Oi, listen, taking punches to the head's one thing, but taking kicks, I don't think I've cut out for that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, we have to ask you, look, there's, there's so many big domestic fights uh, at the moment. Uh, what, what's your take on Conor Ben? Do you reckon he is all, all the makings to be a world champion? Do you know what? You look at him from when he first, you know, had his debut and you'd have, like, you, you thought, no way. But seeing the changes and the improvements, it, it is priceless and it's down to the work he's putting in. So, you know, you can't knock what he's doing and he's got the luxury as well, but he's still working hard. So, do you know, I'm very impressed with how he's improving. Very impressed. Definitely. And what's your take on Katie Taylor? Obviously, look, an Irish girl, she, she had a great oh. her career. Do you think she's a real inspiration to, to yourself and all the female boxers out there? We try to claim her as a Brit, don't we? So, yeah. <laughs> that says what we think of her. She's She's phenomenal. Like, there's there's not one... There's everything she does. She's so classy. And she's never been one to talk. And I just think her boxing just speaks volumes. And, yeah, to me, she's the greatest of all time, without a doubt. Love it. What about America? Obviously, look, it's, it's great to go on little holidays to America. But we can perhaps see you box. With the, with the connections match we have out in America, it's probably likely yeah. that you will box out in America next year if you can travel. And there's no real restrictions. That would be something you'd love to do, no doubt. A hundred percent. Like boxing Newcastle is not too bad or Eddie's back garden, but America sounds a lot sweeter, doesn't it? But I've got to earn my stripes first, so no Definitely. running before I walk. Definitely. And speaking of your division, we, we, we speak of, you know, the division itself. It's a really good division. Yeah. It's exciting. Uh, any girls that like, you know what I mean, you, you want to have a go at? Obviously, look, it, it's, I think it's probably one of the best divisions in boxing right now for the females. Obviously, it's, it's, it's gritty. There's, there's so many great fighters there. Anyone you have an eye on? 
No, do you know what? I feel like everyone's, you're going to have an eye on everyone, but I just focus on myself. And that domestic scene, that's, that's something I'm really excited to be part of. So whoever it will be, yeah, I'm buzzing to get in there. Epic. Now, well, last of all, training camp, obviously, you can fight this dog. Yes. You know what we do with six every week training camp, or is it more... Uh, more of a longer one because obviously we know you've, you've kind of started obviously with the last fight and stuff um but how, how was training camp do you, do you enjoy a good training camp you know anyone that says you know i love training and it's all gone perfect they're lying <laughs> it, it's cruel at points but i feel like that's the part of it that you know you've got to do but i try to look at it as no such thing as like you know like a six-week camp it's just you're in there and you're there to learn so that kind of makes it a bit nicer and it's, you know, we all, we all know the sake to run and, and do 5K runs and 10K runs. Yeah. What would be your strongest point when it comes to a training camp? Do you prefer the sparring or the cardio? Oh, no, I'd take sparring all day long. If you, you could tell me I could spar every day instead of running, I'd take that in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> and last of all, quickly, just, you know, we, we, we were so close to seeing Joshua um, and, and Tyson Fury fight, obviously. Yeah. There's always politics. What was your take on that? Do, do you reckon... Joshua, would it be Fury or do you reckon Fury had Joshua? I'm Team Fury, I am. What about you, Jerry? What are you? It's it's a tough fight, but I just think Fury's background is it's um, like he's you know what I mean. He's he's a, he's a born fighter. Just he's like so mentally Joshua. strong as well, isn't he? He's just yeah, he's from a different cloth. Yeah, Wilder Wilder up next. I don't know. That could be an interesting fight. Wilder's I think it's going to be a bit more interesting than we think. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know that that's uh, that scenario. Yeah. What happens if Wilder actually beats him? What happens then? I know. <laughs> Could you imagine? It's mad. I don't know. Um, it's heavyweight boxing, though. I know. It, it's anything can happen. Anything can happen. But uh, Ellie, it's an absolute pleasure as always. We uh, uh, always very much. And um, Stenhurst Park, world title. Yes, Land we're it. there. Return back to Croydon. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. Um, honor as always, champ. We'll see you very soon. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us. Take care, Jerry. Bye. Bye bye.